welcome to this morning service. I thought as it's the sun shining, we'd come outside of the summer house today, still up in the corner. Um, and uh, we're going to be thinking about rogation today. On Thursday, it will be Ascension, uh, when we remember the Lord leaving, uh, but then in, in anticipation of the Holy Spirit coming. And traditionally, the three days before Ascension have been kept as rogation days. Days when we walk the parish boundaries and we pray and we give thanks and we ask for God's blessing on the land, on the people, and we uh, mend broken relationships. Uh, it used to be called beating of the bounds when we went round and reminded everybody of the parish boundary. So we haven't really kept that uh, as a as a tradition in this parish, certainly not while I've been here. So I thought actually it would be quite fun to do that today and um, in a very different way because of course we're all in lockdown and we can't uh, go out and about as we please, although those restrictions have been lifted slightly. Uh, and so today hopefully we'll be able to think about our parish in its entirety, think about the gifts that God has given us and ask God's blessing on them and pray for all the people within the parish. And if you still aren't going out and about, maybe you'd like to just pray as you go around your own boundaries and think about your neighbours and give thanks for your garden, for the plants, for the water in it, for everything that's coming up, all that is good. We're going to be uh, listening to lots of different readings today, but we're gonna start with our reading from Acts. Then Paul stood in front of the Arpagus and said, Athenians, I see how extremely religious you are in every way. For as I went through the city and looked carefully at the objects of your worship, I found among them an altar with the inscription to an unknown God. What therefore you worship as unknown, this I proclaim to you. The God who made the world and everything in it he who is Lord of heaven and earth does not live in shrines made by human hands, nor is he served by human hands, as though he needed anything since he himself gives to all mortals life and breath and all things. From one ancestor he made all nations to inhabit the world, the whole earth, and he allotted the times of their existence and the boundaries of the places where they would live so that they would search for God and perhaps grope for him and find him though indeed he is not far from each one of us for in him we live and move and have our being as ever some of uh, your own prophets have said for we too are his offspring since we are God's offspring we ought not to think that the deity is like gold or silver or stone, an image formed by art and imagination of mortals. While God has overlooked the times of human ignorance, now he commands all people everywhere to repent because he has, has fixed a day in which he will have the world judged in righteousness by a man whom he has appointed. And of this, he has given assurance to all by raising him from the dead. When we remember on Thursday, Ascension, the words that we will be recalling that Jesus said was, don't worry, I'm not leaving you alone, for I will be sending the advocate to be with you. An advocate literally means called to walk alongside. So as we walk our boundaries today, as we think about the parish, and as uh, maybe we just walk around our own gardens, remember that the Lord is actually by our side, is walking alongside us, not far off and distant, but very close up and personal. So as we move through today's service, let's begin with a prayer. We come before you, our God, 
creator, redeemer and sustainer, remembering that you are the source of all being. Out of your love the universe was born, and from primordial darkness you put in place all that is needed for growth and saw that it was good. You have put this world into our hands. May we recognise your spirit within it, disturbing and challenging us to care for creation, for the weak and for the deprived. Lord, we remember that we are called by you to nurture the earth and its diversity of life, to share the gifts you have given with one another and with the poor of the world. So as we prepare to remember all those wonderful things that the Lord has given us, we're going to ask for forgiveness. So let us ask for God's mercy on our tired land and the pros to prosper the work of our soiled hands. Let us ask God for forgiveness for our delusion of our self-sufficiency so that we may praise him for his provision and goodness. So we're going to just call to mind those things um, that we need to be mindful of. Lord, you give us this good earth, yet we take your generosity and your gifts for granted. Lord, have mercy. Lord, you give us this good earth, but we squander its rich resources. Christ, have mercy. Lord, you give us this good earth, but we fail to share your bounty with all your children. Lord, have mercy. May the God of love and power forgive us and free us from our sins, heal us and strengthen us by his spirit and raise us to new life in Christ our Lord. Amen. So let us begin our journey by thinking of water. Water. On the last day of the festival, the great day, while Jesus was standing there, he cried out, Let anyone who is thirsty come to me, and let the one who believes in me drink. As the scripture has said, Out of the believer's heart shall flow rivers of living water. Almighty God, we thank you for the gift of water to sustain, refresh and cleanse all life. May we who have an abundance of water see it as a precious and scarce resource. Help us to be mindful how much is consumed so that we can live in the way that we do. Guide us to use it sparingly and keep us mindful of those who suffer through drought, pollution and flood. We ask this for the sake of him through whom all things were made, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And now let's um, continue that journey by thinking about those crops that are grown and, and nurtured both commercially and in our gardens. Crops and Gardens A reading from Mark Jesus also said, The kingdom of God is as if someone would scatter seed on the ground and would sleep and rise night and day and the seed would sprout and grow. He does not know how. The earth produces of itself First the stalk, then the head, then the full grain in the head. But when the gr grain is ripe, at once he goes in with his sickle, because the harvest has come. And now a prayer. Almighty God, 
whose will it is that the earth and sea should bear fruit in due season. Bless the labours of all those who work on land and sea. Grant us a good harvest and the grace always to rejoice in your care. Lord, you have ordered our life that we are dependent on one another. Prosper those engaged in commerce. Direct our minds and hands in the service of you and with all whom we live and work. Grant, O Lord, that whatever gifts we have, they may be used to the full for the enrichment of our lives together and for the coming of your kingdom. And we pray this in the name of Jesus, the Good Shepherd. Amen. Now as we journey on, we're thinking about our community, the communities in which we live, people, the shops, the industry. I am the vine, you are the branches. Those who abide in me and I in them bear much fruit, because apart from me you can do nothing. Almighty God, we give thanks for the gifts of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who was content to share the life of his village in Nazareth. We ask you to bless the life of our villages across the whole parish, Forest Row, Ashurst Wood and Hammerwood. We pray for all who live in this place, for all who work here, for all who regard this place as home, wherever they may now live and for all who simply pass through. May your blessing rest upon us all as we live together in your peace. We pray in the name of Jesus, who is our peace. Amen. Now we're going to think of the countryside that surrounds us. We're particularly lucky to live where we do, on the edge of the Ashdown Forest. Um, some of us in the parish actually live within the Ashdown Forest. And it is a particular blessing all of us to be able to be within such touching distance of God's creation. So let's give thanks. The Almighty God, the Lord speaks. He calls to the whole earth from east to west. All the animals in the forest are mine and the cattle on thousands of hills. All the wild birds are mine and all living things in the fields. Almighty God, Jesus teaches us through the beauty and abundance of creation to put our trust in you for all things. We ask you now to bless our fields and gardens, our hills and streams, our rivers, lakes, reservoirs and seas, that in all these things we might glimpse a reflection of your glory and your gracious love for each one of us. Bless, O oh Lord, the houses and farms and all the homes in this place. Give us good health, purity of spirit, strength and humility, hospitality, a spirit of forgiveness and firm knowledge of our need to seek you in all things. We pray in the name of Jesus, creative word of God. Amen. So now as we come to the end of today's service, let's ask for God's blessing on each and every one of us. God the Father, who created the world, give you grace to be wise stewards of his creation. God the Son, who redeemed the world, inspire you to go out as labourers in his harvest. God the Holy Spirit, whose breath fills the whole creation, help you to bear his fruits of love, joy and peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Have a wonderful week. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord.